Hello guys, welcome back. Um, today we're gonna be talking about Night Swim. Let's get into it. Okay guys, well today, um, as you see the title, we're gonna be talking about Night Swim, which is a horror movie about a evil pool. So, um, I saw the trailer for this and I was actually quite excited for it, believe it or not. I think once I first saw it, I was like, I want to make a review on this so badly. So I decided to watch it and all that. But you don't really care about me, you know, wanting to watch a movie. You're here for the actual review itself. I hope. Now, um, I will tell you that I will get into spoilers. So, warning. Watch the movie before you watch my review. I'll give you a few seconds to click off. Okay, you're done now. So, um, since you're here now, let's get into it. Now, let me just get out of the way and say that I think this movie is getting a little too much hate. I saw I saw some reviews on it, and I was like, okay. Uh, this is like, this is like, people who already got to see it like way before me and always had like access to movies and stuff. I don't have that, I don't have that privilege. I have to pay my hard earned money to go to the theater and buy it. I don't get to do it for free. And so, um, I saw people giving it negative reviews and stuff, and by no means is this movie perfect or anything. It's not perfect, because I will get into stuff later, but I do think the criticism for this movie is a little too much hateful. I mean, it's not really hateful, but it's not a bad movie. It's a, it's a mediocre movie. It's your average um, horror movie tropes and stuff. Um, I will say that I'm not someone who gets scared easily. It takes a lot to get me scared. Um, there was one or two jump scares that actually like physically got me. Also, the people people in the in the theater that I was with, they would not shut the f up. I swear to God, they would. Mm. Don't want. I'm here to talk positive about this movie, and I'm gonna end up talking and going on a big rant about the movie uh, experience because it was not very good, but. Besides all that are across, the movie was fun. I enjoyed the begin. The beginning hooked me immediately. The, the beginning was great. I love the beginning. The beginning was fantastic, in my opinion. And then we get introduced to, I believe Jay. Wait, was his name Jay? I believe it was Jay. Well, when doing um. A little bit of research, I found out his name is not Jay, it is Ray. So, you will hear me say Jay constantly, but just realize that, in fact, I am talking about Ray. His name is Ray. Now, Jack, we would love to see that. Wouldn't we love to see that? His name is Lee, goddammit. Lee, we would love to see that. <laughs> and his family. Jay is a, um, well, he, he's a baseball player. And I didn't, I didn't think that they could make a movie about uh, baseball in an evil swimming pool in one movie, but somehow they did that. Sorry, I thought I heard something at my door. <coughs> Ooh, spooky, am I right? Yeah, well, um, back to the review. Um, I did think that the family aspect was actually really good in my opinion. Uh, it's rare that I say that because most movies I absolutely hate the... What I mean I hate the characters, I mean I hate their dynamics. Like, I was expecting this movie to have the father and the mother and, like, you know, they're always, like, bickering towards each other. And, like, you know, I, I knew there was a daughter in this. And I thought she was going to be, like, hating the father. Because that's, like, your stereotypical thing in movies where, like, either the daughter or father... Or, not the daughter. Either the daughter or son hates the father... And then they're always caught into the middle of everything, and it's, it's like a big stereotypical thing. I like how this family is not dysfunctional in any way. It was actually a fresh uh, change that I thought uh, benefited uh, this movie a lot more and uh, elevated it, in my opinion. I liked it. Um, I, like, I like the whole family aspect. I like uh, Wyatt Russell. Which, you know, if you obviously have seen, you know, my reviews on Monarch, then you will know that I speak very highly of Wyatt Russell. I think that he needs more love and more attention in Hollywood. Well, not Hollywood, because Hollywood right now is is on fire. But 
he, he does need to get more into it, though, because I think he did a fantastic job as a father in this movie. Um, and then back to inside the movie, uh, the family's just trying to, you know, get back into their house because the father, Jay, has, like, a disease that's, like, preventing him from doing things. You're such a disease. And then, uh, they move out of this house and get into this new house. Then the house is the house is not haunted itself, it's the pool, but it's not really a pool, it's more of a lake that has all these dead bodies in it, and they're, um, and they're evil. Or not, not evil, but the lake, the pool, lake, slash thing, is, is evil. And I think it's, it's quite cool, and quite fun, but I wish they would flush it out more. Uh, my biggest problems about this movie are really that it, the ending is a little, um, dis... Uh, hmm. The ending I was wanting more out of, um, the ending just kind of, kind of happened. And there's a lot of unanswered questions, like, um, let me just get through one real quick. So, uh, covering up the, the swimming pool at the end, you know, after spoilers, again, but, you know, I already said this, the father dies, which really was kind of sad, which I, I knew it, like, as soon as the movie began and he started, like, you know when he when he got he got his wish because he was you know sick and then the thing is like a wishing well thing except it's evil and it takes your wish but it kills somebody you love or whatever um and it does that and then just jay decides that he's going to sacrifice himself and i was i knew it was going to happen it was still kind of sad it didn't pack a big emotion for me it was more just like yeah, it's sad because it's their father, but I wish they would have fleshed out the characters a lot more. That's my biggest thing. The characters, I like them. I do like the characters. I just wish they were more fleshed out, and I think this could have benefited from a two-hour or maybe a little bit longer of a movie. A uh, thing kind of just happened. I can't describe the flow of this movie. I was not bored, though. I'll give it this. I was not bored. I was entertained, and I enjoyed it, besides the people who were sitting right next to me, eating burritos and chicken wings, and on their phone on Snapchat, besides that. The movie was an interesting movie. I enjoyed it. It is a generic movie. I mean, it's nothing special if you're going uh, to see it for, like, movie of the year. It's not that. It's more just your low-budget uh, Blumhouse movie. And that's all right, you know, that's all it needs to be. But I guess my biggest things are the ending, how it feels a little bit rushed with him becoming possessed and he's unpossessed and he sacrifices himself for his son because his son was supposed to be uh, the sacrificed person when he got his wish because he has a disease. It's very, it's my opinion. I like that. I think it's cool. It did suck that, you know, you had to, had the father die. But besides that, that's, really it I mean that's all I really wanted and I was decently surprised by this movie it's nothing special but nothing boring at the same time I found it entertaining uh, and it also left me wanting more which I guess could be a positive but could also be a negative at the same time I don't know I'll let you be the uh, judge of that but um, if you if you have watched the movie tell me how what you thought of it because at the moment, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because it's not, it's actually better than what I thought it would be, but it's still not a fantastic movie, but it doesn't have to be, but I will leave you off on that video or on this video today, um, guys, if you want to like, subscribe, comment if you want, share anything, I appreciate it a lot, um, I appreciate all the support you give to my channel. I love you all. And if you haven't watched this movie, watch it. It's a fun time. Bye.